So can you tell us what it is that's important about the count and why we should be doing it and just flow from there? Because I know you've got loads of stuff to tell us about that. In my first year, second year with Guruji, I did not know that Chatwari, Pancha, Shat yeah. was four, five and six. Yeah. I thought Chatwari was jump back, Pancha was up dog and Shat was down dog. Right. I thought they were the translations. Yeah. There was, however, on the notice board a list of posture names and numbers. I remember just looking at that and walking on by. Um, I coincided with Lino Miali all of my early years in Mysore yeah. and we tried to work it out together at one stage what the numbers meant but we didn't, still didn't know he was counting. So nobody actually told you at that stage, Guruji didn't come over to no. you and say look this is what we're doing with the count? Or? No, okay. he may have said counted method. Yeah. But right. never, that's I mean his vocabulary never extended yeah. or the way he presented material wasn't in a discourse way. Right. So those were missing parts to yeah. jigsaw puzzles in a sense. We had a, a, a jigsaw puzzle with lots of unknown pieces yeah. or holes. And Lino had been to a Guruji international workshop in France. Right. And he came back and that year that I saw him he said, John, he's counting. And so from that point, um, we then went into the inquiry into the count. Guruji allowed Lino and I, with a clipboard, to do full vinyasa in his class. Yeah. And asked him the vinyasa. He counted it to us. We wrote it down. So at that stage, how did you encounter these bits which there is no count? Because there's occasionally breaths, isn't there, in and out, uh, say, where the count doesn't continue. So did he explain why no, that No, he was? didn't explain. Okay, so he just So, said, remember Guruji's s s sort yeah. of saying is, <laughs> do your practice and all is coming. Right, yeah. Now that can be taken so many ways. Yeah. Life's coming at you, you must be practicing to be strong for life coming, yeah. having a technique. Yeah. But if you do do your practice and do the real internal inquiry, yeah then insights come. And there is that saying, we teach the things we most need to know ourselves. So by taking that role of sharing the practice, yeah. it was in that sharing of the practice that I really started to understand it and learn it. Right. Because then students will ask the exact question you're asking, why is there not yeah. a count here? Yeah. And so as the teacher, I want to be in that position of having a valuable answer or saying, well, I'll try and find that one out. Yeah. And did you ever find out? No, <laughs> not, not directly from Guruji. No. But uh, my analysis is that, say, for example, if we take Prasarita Padottanasana, yeah. there's five vinyasa, yeah. but in his yoga mala, it says practitioners should note that on vinyasas two and four, extra inhale, extra exhale is taken. Yeah. So Dwe has two breaths. Chatwari has two breaths. Yeah. If you analyze the vinyasa, the body doesn't move. So for a whole breath, the body, the torso, yeah. isn't moving. The arms might move. Right. So from hands to the yeah. floor on Chatwari. Yeah. That's an exhale. Yeah. But we haven't moved the torso and then punches come up. So maybe, and it, does that repeat itself in those other times when there's, so for instance, um, uh, Padangastasana and Padahastasana, that's again where there's a breath there, isn't there? Let's go to Adabada Padmottanasana. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> the half lotus standing forward bend. Yeah. Has nine vinyasa. Yeah. Often people get dizzy coming out. Femoral arteries being pressed possibly by the ankle yeah. as you fold forward, head below heart. It's a classic place to come dizzy. Yeah. Especially if you just come straight up. Yeah. A so. choreography. So yeah. remember the count is a choreography. And Adabhada Padmottanasana is a good one to learn and, uh, and understand your question. Yeah. Because the choreography, if you go through it, gives you the answer. A combined Dway fold. Five breaths in Dway. 
Trini, open up, yeah. then there's an exhale. Technically, the body doesn't move. Yeah. But what's happening there is you've opened up the torso, you then exhale, bend the standing knee yeah. to go from the hand, a biped of hand and foot, yeah. back to being a monoped. Yeah. To come up. Yeah. So there's a point where you open up, you can rebalance the blood, exhale, yeah. you lower a little bit with yeah. still being more or less head above heart. Yeah. And then chatwari come up. Now your chatwari up there, arm and a legs bound. Yeah. You release both a leg and an arm. That's like a body movement. Yeah. Shat straight away left side. Sup to fold. Five breaths. Again, ashto open. Exhale, bend the knee, rebalance so you don't go dizzy. A good proper exhale. Yeah. Another come up. Summer steady is always zero. Yeah. So there's no number for summer steady. So that's why Adabada works out of being. And that nine. and that exhale breath there, that should because I often see that as a lot of people do it really short. But that should be the same length breath as every other breath, shouldn't it? Yeah. That's okay. in there. That. Yeah. Th that's what I'm saying. It's choreographed yeah. there so you don't yeah. go dizzy. Yeah, so there should be a definite pause, a, a visual pause. pause. Yeah.